Two things before we get into today's video. Number one, I've been experimenting with a filming location, um, so we're back here today. Um, number two, I took a shower not that long ago, my hair's still a little damp, but th that's fine. Let's just get into today's video. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Dimension Bros. Today, I want to talk about Minecraft mobs again, and I know what you're thinking. Isaac, you just talked about Minecraft mobs a couple of weeks ago, and while that is true, this video is going to be very different, because today I want to discuss one of the big mysteries of Minecraft. How do Minecraft mobs reproduce? Now, obviously, the reason this question comes up is the fact that every mob can mate with every mob of that same species. Now, this would normally completely destroy everything we know about like, the breeding and how it works. But, in the real world, we have animals that fall under hermaphrodites. I hope I pronounced that right. These are animals that either have both reproductive organs or have the ability to switch which reproductive organ they have. Now, obviously, the issue with this is all the animals that fall under that category in real life are, like, fishes, bugs, stuff like that. But I believe if we take the principles of Haphroditic creatures from the real world, we can then apply them to Minecraft mobs to figure out how the Minecraft mob is made. Before we do that, let me just make clear which Minecraft mobs we're talking about in this video. We are only talking about the ones that the players can breed. These include horse, donkey, cow, goat, mushroom, sheep, pig, chicken, wolf, cat, ocelot, axolotl, rabbit, llama, turtle, panda, fox, Bee, Strider, Hoglin, and Villagers. Um, so now let's, to make this slightly easier, let's separate all of these mobs into groups. So the first group is going to be mammals. This is going to include horse, donkey, cow, goat, mushroom, sheep, pig, wolf, cat, ocelot, rabbit, llama, panda, fox, and Hoglin. I'm putting villagers in their own separate category as humanoids because I feel it would be weird to group them in with the rest of the mammals. Chicken is its own group, its own like bird group. Bees are their own like bug group. There are two creatures that fall into a fungi group, the strider and mushroom, and yes, I put mushrooms on here twice, but this, but they kind of fall under both categories. And lastly, the last group is amphibians, so turtles and axolotls. So now let's go through each of these groups and assign them their own hermaphroditic trait. First, let's start off with the amphibians. Since they both lay eggs, and I know technically the axolotls don't lay eggs in game, but shh. Since they both lay eggs, I believe they would reproduce in a similar way to the New Mexico state reptile, the whiptail lizard. There are no males in this entire reptile's population, so instead when they lay eggs, they just lay the basically copies of themselves via asexual reproduction. Now I know what you're thinking, Isaac, if they breed asexually, why do they need a romantic partner in Minecraft? Why do you need to mate them with something? Well, you see, the ch childbirth, I imagine, is a very stressful thing, so they may need that, like, support system of a romantic partner. I'm, I'm trying my best here. Next, let's go on to insects, or just bees, I guess. Now, bees are even weirder, since in the real world, obviously, it would just normally be the queen, like, you know making more bees, but I think um, I, I've kind of figured out how they do it in Minecraft. So in Minecraft, you have to give bees flowers for them to mate, right? So here's, here's, my, here's my theory. In Minecraft, bees use pollen, almost like plants would, to share DNA. So, so they have like pollen on them, and then when they rub together, they, they switch the pollen. So it's the same thing as like how they help plants through pollination, but then, then they can kind of like do, do it with each other as well via pollinating. Next, birds, specifically chickens. You know what chickens do? They lay eggs. You know what else lay eggs? Bearded dragons. You know what bearded dragons can do inside those eggs? They can switch their own gender. And thus, the, I think the chickens can do the same. Um, Charlie approves of this. Charlie agrees. Next is like the fungi group, and I think the fungi group is actually fairly self-explanatory. They just do so how fungi do in real life. They just swap spores around through the air. Just like in real life, I think that's how fungi work. 
not gonna fact check it. I've already Googled a lot of weird fun facts about this video. For example, learning the state reptile of New Mexico. Didn't know I needed to know that. Now I do. <laughs> Next up is mammals. In real life, mammals have pretty strict rules. Like every mammal does, like reproduces the same way. So I figure that would also probably carry over in Minecraft and they'd have pretty strict rules. Um, and so the only one of these that really don't require any sort of, like, switching of, like, the body, like, manually switching your own, like, the body around would be just being born with both sets of organs. So that's what we're going to assume the mammals have, just like banana slugs. There's another fun fact for you. See, if nothing else, this video is educational. Lastly is villagers. Now, villagers is a weird one because it doesn't feel right to group them in with- That's weird. Who could be calling me while I'm filming? <laughs> it's Tedward. What do you want, Tedward? Well, I was just peacefully enjoying my summer when I felt that someone in the cosmos needed me to tell them what the Omegaverse was and then my fingers led me to you. Omegaverse? What even is that? This is a Minecraft video. Oh god, you're talking about how the villagers reproduce, aren't you? How did you know that? Were you going to point out how all of the villagers appear male yet can somehow reproduce? Yeah, it makes no sense. Well, you see, that's where the Omegaverse comes in. The Omegaverse is an AU used for fanfiction that many writers use to do male impreg stories. Basically, society is split into alphas, betas, and omegas, with the alphas being able to impregnate the omegas. This is what is commonly used and was started in supernatural fanfiction between brothers Sam and Dean. So, because in the Omegaverse the Omega Men can get pregnant with the Alpha Men's babies, we can conclude that Minecraft must take place within the Omegaverse AU because the male villagers can all reproduce with each other. Thus, the number one selling video game of all time Minecraft is an Omegaverse fiction. <sighs> That's awful. Why would you tell me that? It is my sacred duty to taint innocent minds with the Omegaverse. That's your sacred duty? Well, that and making helium balloon animals. <sighs> Great. Well, I guess our explanation for villagers is that Minecraft takes place in the Omegaverse. Well, that was an odd video. Um, I hope you all enjoyed it. If you can't tell, that was mostly for fun. Like, don't take any of that seriously. Do I really believe that Minecraft bees reproduce via the pollen? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Um, th but, but yeah, um, see you all next week for a violent rant. Um, I hope you're all excited. What are you doing? So, Charlie's been next to me this whole time I'm filming. He's, like, priming up to pounce. What? Okay. I'm gonna go before this he attacks me or something. <laughs>